Yeah. Uh huh. Hey, everybody, welcome back. It's good to see you. Today, we are talking Little Red and the six speed swap. Um, we're going to be doing a parts comparison between the factory five speed equipment that came in the car and the O2Q equipment that is going to convert it to a six speed manual transmission. So, yeah, stick around. It's going to be good. <laughs> All right. Well, for those of you that don't know, this is my 2010 Mark V Volkswagen Jetta. It's got the 2.5 liter five cylinder in it. Came factory with a five speed manual transmission. We are converting it to an O2Q six speed transmission. The particular transmission I got is out of a 2012 Volkswagen CC. So nice close ratio, six speed. Really gonna you know go well with that five cylinder that has all the goodies on it. It's got the Evo header on it. It's got Integrated engineering stage two is pretty much full bolt on. We are going to be doing a parts comparison, showing you a side by side difference between basically essentially the size of the six speed versus the size of the five speed, um, different axle lengths, starter comparison, um, a couple other products. So I will leave links to everything down in the description below. Obviously, it's just going to be a link to LKQ for any of the used parts because that's where I pick my stuff up from. But there are going to be some other parts in there that are gonna have some links down in the description below. So definitely check them out. Some parts that I used on a six speed swap. It's actually been six speed swap for a while. So I'm just now getting around to doing the videos. I gotta say, if you're thinking about doing a six speed swap, it's definitely worth it. Been super reliable, super fun, really better gear ratios for that five speed or for the five cylinder. Let's get into the comparison. Well, all right, all right. We got the O2J five speed on the right hand side. And then the bigger guy is the O2Q six speed that's going into the car. It's a clearly massive size difference. Um, the O2J specifically around the differential, you can see how much material is just not there to support it and keep it strong. That is probably why these transmissions are known to occasionally just yeet the diff out of it and say, yep, I'm done, no more diff. Um, a lot beefier around the OTQ where the differential is and just the whole transmission in general really. This is the inside of the O2J. You can see the internal um, fork with the throw out bearing. The 5 speed does have an external slave cylinder whereas the 6 speed um, in the background there is going to have an all-in-one slave cylinder throw out bearing. So it is an internal setup with just an external bleeder. Um, and then you can see the top there, that little top portion on the six speed where I shaved it down. That is the one modification you have to do to the six speed to get it into the 2.5 liter five cylinder. I mean, just a huge size difference. Um, six speeds just built a lot beefier. Now we're moving on to the starters and the axles just see the difference in all of those there the uh, cleaner right side axles and starter are the new six speed ones the dirtier left side the longer axles and the dirtier starter are the five speed starter has to be swapped out just to fit um, fit the six speed just so it mates up and that gear will actually throw out and make contact with the flywheel. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to start your car and you're just gonna start chipping teeth on either the starter or the flywheel and you're gonna have a bad day. So you definitely need to swap those out, get the six speed specific one. Um, yeah, axles here, you can see the size difference, um, shorter on the six speed, longer on the five speed. Again, that has to do with uh, a little bit about where the diff is, um, bigger, beefier, a little wider on the six speed. So you need shorter driver and passenger side. Um, the longer set is the passenger side. The shorter set is the driver's side. You can see here the left side, this is the five speed. So you can see where it's kind of open and not captured and that's where you have to fill it with grease where it's sealed on the six speed. So the right hand side one there with the sealed cup um, are sealed on the six speed, which is nice. You don't have to worry about a gasket and filling it with grease when you hook it up to the transmission. So it makes it a lot easier on the six speed versus the five speed where there's just a little bit more maintenance and stuff involved. These are the transmission mounts. These are the 034 density line. They do sell these six speed 
one separately now because a lot of guys are doing this upgrade and doing the swap so you can see the one on the right here it's gonna have one two and three mounting holes that mount up to the six-speed transmission and then the one on the left is just the two bolts so it's gonna mount to the chassis the same but it does made up to the transmission differently so you got three bolts on the six speed two bolts on the five speed these are my five speed cables coming out of the shifter these are shifter cables coming out from under the center of the car there going into the engine bay you can see I have them crossed going into this APR cable bracket um, so you will need the six speed cable bracket. And then if you do have the five speed in the car already, you can use the cables. You just have to swap them. That way you get the correct um, up, down and side to side motion. Other than that, you do have to change the shift linkage from the five speed to the six speed. It is different. The easiest way to do this and the best um, really performance upgrade as far as shifter feel is going to be to get this set from diesel geek this is their Sig sigma six so you can see here it is their short shift kit and it has the all the end links and everything you need and then you can modify the one on the five speed for this for the up and down um, you can modify that and use the uh, diesel geek pieces that come in the kit you just modify it and use the five speed cable end link well that's going to do it for the comparison video thanks for watching hit that likes button hit that subscribe button um, it really does help the channel out it helps youtube pick it up and uh, show it to other people so other people can enjoy the content too. Really be doing me a solid and doing the channel a solid by hitting that subscribe button. Track tires going on tomorrow because I got a track weekend this weekend. Little Red's going to be screaming in all her five cylinder glory out at the racetrack and uh, letting everybody know what's up with these five cylinders that haven't really heard of the 07K before. Full beat down test coming this weekend. Going to test out that OTQ six speed and all the good stuff that is on the five cylinder. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Really, I'll see you in the next one. Weekly videos. 2025 is going to be epic. Don't go anywhere. Tires. Grippy, grippy. Okay, bye.